So you can see I have a blank canvas, a blank document opened up here in Adobe Photoshop CC. And I want to go over the brush tool. Um, you can press the B key on your keyboard. You can press the B key on your keyboard or you can see it right there. And you can just click the brush tool or click it once to go into there. Now um, it's pretty basic. If you, have, if you don't have a Wacom tablet, you can just move, uh, use your mouse. But what you want to do is just, uh, you have to select a blank layer. In this case, I just set up a blank document so I, I have a blank layer set up. But you can click and drag and you can just paint. Um, you can paint various shapes with whatever you have. Um, you can, so um, it's always going to paint with the color that's in the foreground. So I'm going to go ahead and press my D key. That'll make it to the default colors. Or I can press X to switch those colors out. And I can paint with white. So, um, so up in your toolbar up here, you can see you can adjust different settings like the opacity and the flow. Now, for the opacity, you can just create it on its own layer and uh, set the opacity there. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment. And of course, always just leave a comment, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But uh, so up here in the tools bar, um, we have we can select how hard or how soft we want it, how how hard or soft, and also the brush brush size. So say you make a nice big brush there, it's going to be really hard. I'm going to go ahead and press the X key on my keyboard, or you can click that little toggle switch right here, the little arrows, and that'll switch the color. So here I have a really sharp or really crisp um, brush. Um, want to paint with the di di uh, the opposite color that you have down here in your swatches. Click the X key or do that arrow again. I'm just going to hit the X key on my keyboard. That'll switch it out. And I'm going to make a, my brush smaller. And I'm also going to feather it a lot. So bring the hardness down. I'm going to bring it all the way down to zero. And I'm just going to click somewhere else in the user interface just to get rid of that. And as you can see, as I paint here, I have a really soft, nice edge. So I can soften up that black edge, and I can do anything I want with it. Um, you'll you'll use this a lot when you're working with photographs, and you have layer masks, and you're trying to only affect certain parts of the image. You're working with photographs. Um, you're going to be using this a lot, uh, feather a lot, because you want to get smooth transitions and not hard transmission, hard transitions. Um, so I, I mean, I can select any color. I just have to click on the color that's on the top and I can change my color. And now we got a really soft red color here. So again, um, just the brush tool, the brush tools over here, click it once you can get to it. Um, you can also, uh, click up here or another faster way to do it is just right click somewhere on your canvas. You'll get the same thing. You can edit your brush size. You can edit your hardness. And you can click somewhere else in the UI just to get rid of that. And you can you can paint you can paint in um, you know your color, or you can press the X key on your keyboard to switch the colors, or press the little arrow button right there, and you can paint with the opposite color. Um, another just keyboard shortcut you can use all the time is instead of having to go up to here and change your brush size, or having to right click and change your brush size. There's a keyboard shortcut for changing your brush size, and that is the left and the right square bracket key. So I make the left bracket key, that makes the brush smaller, and I have a smaller brush here as you can see. The right square bracket key makes it larger, and you can see now I have a larger brush there. So um, the X key, that'll switch between colors. You're going to be using that a lot, so red, black, red, black. You can paint with, you're going to switch it all the time. Um, D key that'll set your default colors so you can paint with just black or you can paint with white and get that white back in there and also um, So the keyboard shortcut is the left square bracket and the right square bracket You're gonna be using that a lot when you're working in Fo Adobe Photoshop CC So you need to get used to using these keyboard shortcuts because they'll save you a lot of time uh, Daniel Malone. I'll see you in the next video